Forget everything you thought you knew about tooth loss. Scientists are cracking the code to activate your body's natural tooth regeneration switch. This isn't science fiction, it's cutting-edge research that promises a future where we simply regrow our teeth, forever changing how we approach dental health. Stick around as we dive into the breakthroughs that could make dental implants a thing of the past. Today, we're exploring the latest advancements in adult tooth regeneration, focusing on the incredible science of epigenetics, the switches that control how our cells behave without changing our DNA. By the end of this video, you'll understand how these discoveries could revolutionize dentistry, why they matter, and what challenges we still face. Let's get started. First, let's break it down. Tooth regeneration is about harnessing the body's own ability to regrow teeth or their components, like enamel, dentin, or even entire roots. Unlike reptiles or sharks, humans don't naturally regrow teeth after losing them as adults. But what if we could flip a biological switch to make it happen? The key lies in dental stem cells, special cells found in places like dental pulp, periodontal ligaments, or the apical papilla at the root tip. These cells have the potential to become any part of a tooth, but they need the right instructions. That's where epigenetics comes in, a field that's unlocking how to control these cells without rewriting our genetic code. So, what exactly is an epigenetic switch? Think of your DNA as a recipe book for your body. Epigenetics decides which recipes get used and when. It does this through chemical tags that turn genes on or off, like dimmer switches for lights. In tooth regeneration, these switches tell stem cells whether to keep dividing, turn into dentin, or form enamel. One of the most exciting discoveries involves a protein called EZH2, which acts like a master regulator. In studies with mice, EZH2 adds a repressive tag, called H3K27M3, to a gene called Sonic Hedgehog. Yes, like the video game character. This gene is crucial for stem cell behavior in teeth. During normal tooth maintenance, EZH2 keeps Sonic Hedgehog in check, ensuring stem cells don't go haywire. But when a tooth is damaged, EZH2 ramps up, pulling Sonic Hedgehog back to baseline levels so stem cells can properly regenerate hard tissues like enamel. Here's the kicker. When scientists knocked out EZH2 in experiments, stem cells lost their way. They burned out, couldn't commit to forming new tooth tissue, and regeneration failed. This shows how precise these epigenetic switches are. They're like air traffic controllers guiding stem cells to rebuild teeth perfectly. EZH2 is just one piece of the puzzle. Researchers have found a whole toolkit of epigenetic mechanisms that could unlock tooth regeneration. Let's break down the big three, DNA methylation, histone modifications, and RNA tweaks. First up, DNA methylation. This is when enzymes like DNMTs add methyl groups to DNA, usually to silence genes. On the flip side, enzymes called TETs remove those groups to activate genes. For example, demethylating the promoter for a gene called KLF4 in dental pulp stem cells boosts dentin formation, the hard layer under enamel. Scientists have even used drugs like 5-AZA-CDR to inhibit DNMTs, supercharging dental forming potential. Next, histone modifications. Beyond EZH2, enzymes like KDM6B and KDM6A remove repressive tags to promote bone and dentin growth, especially in inflamed tissues. Histone acetyl transferases, or HATs, add acetyl groups to open up DNA for gene expression, while deacetylases, or HDACs, do the opposite. Drugs like trichostostatin A, an HDAC inhibitor, have been shown to increase mineralization and stem cell migration, paving the way for stronger regenerated teeth. Finally, RNA modifications. A chemical tag called M6A, controlled by an enzyme called metal-3, stabilizes RNAs for tooth-forming genes. This helps dental pulp stem cells create dentin-like structures. Even non-coding RNAs like LNCRNAH19 team up with EZH2 to fine-tune stem cell behavior. Now let's talk about something super exciting, 
tooth root regeneration. Imagine losing a tooth, but instead of a full implant, we regrow the root and just cap it with a crown. This could cut treatment time and costs dramatically. In developing mouse molars, scientists found that EZH2 works with another protein, ARID1A, to control root patterning. These two act like a tug of war, balancing gene accessibility through a gene called CDKN2A. When this balance is right, roots form properly and integrate with the jawbone. Mess it up and you get abnormal roots or none at all. Mastering this could mean regenerating natural roots in adults, making dental restoration faster and more natural. So, why should you care? Tooth loss affects millions worldwide, whether from aging, injury, or disease like periodontitis. Current solutions like implants or dentures are expensive, require maintenance, and don't feel like your own teeth. Imagine a future where your dentist activates your body's own stem cells to regrow a tooth or its root, perfectly matched to you. No more foreign materials, no more endless appointments. This isn't just about aesthetics. Regenerating teeth could improve quality of life, especially for older adults or those with chronic dental issues. Plus, it's a step towards personalized medicine, using your own cells to heal you. Now, before you get too excited, there are hurdles. Most of this research is still in mice or lab dishes, not humans. Translating these epigenetic switches into safe, targeted therapies is tricky. We need to figure out how to deliver drugs like HDAC inhibitors or DNMT blockers precisely to dental stem cells without affecting other parts of our body. Plus, environmental factors, like diet or inflammation, can mess with these epigenetic signals, and we don't fully understand how yet. Another challenge is time. Even if we perfect these switches, growing a full tooth could take months, and patients want quick fixes. Partial regeneration, like roots or dentin, might be the first step, paired with artificial crowns for speed. And then there's the cost. New therapies need to be affordable to replace implants. But, despite the challenges, the future looks bright. Scientists are already testing bioengineered scaffolds and stem cell therapies to guide tooth regeneration. In Japan, trials are underway to regrow teeth in animals using specific molecules. If these epigenetic switches can be harnessed, we might see clinics offering tooth regeneration in the next decade or two. Picture this. You lose a tooth, visit your dentist, and instead of a drill or implant, they use a targeted therapy to kickstart your stem cells. A few months later, you've got a brand new tooth, or at least a root, grown from your own body. It's a game changer. So, what do you think? Are you excited about a future where we can regrow our teeth? Let us know in the comments below. If you want to stay updated on this mind-blowing science, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. Share this video with anyone who's ever dealt with a dental nightmare. It might just give them hope for a better solution. Thanks for watching. Check out our other videos on biotech breakthroughs, and we'll see you next time as we explore the future of science.